Hey everybody, Patty Ann here again today. Today I'm going to show you a couple different things that I think will be good tips for you. Um, one of the tips is especially for you if you use a brother machine, one that has the one that you use the little snowman stickers for. Now, you don't have to do that. That's not everything that this video is about. This video is about doing this, making a towel for somebody. This one, I messed up. A blooper. I meant to make it bigger because I think it's too small like that, but that's okay. But anyway, I'm going to show you where you can get this file. Where in the world do you found to find the snowman sticker to print right on here? And why would you want to? If you've not used the snowman sticker and you have that capability on your machine, I have a quattro over there running loudly, but it works for five, 10 needles and everything else, the brother machines. It won't work for our PE770 or 800 or the 1900, 1700E, but I'm still thinking I could use this because it would help me to know exactly where the center is and I can test and make sure my needle goes down there. It's easier to see than just the little crosshairs. But anyway, we're gonna get started seeing how do you, first of all, some of you asked me, how do you get your unzipped BX files into um, in brilliance and I'm going to show you that someone else asked me how do I save something to my USB drive I'll show that but then many many more things so stay tuned okay this is where I got the font and just because some of you have a hard time with downloading and extracting and knowing where your files are I thought I would do this for you so it's the floral monogram font I'm going to download I'm only going to download the BX files once it's downloaded up here, I can click, whoops, and there it is right there. It's the design by Juju, DBJJ, BX Zip. I'm going to open the folder. Here's the folder here lit up. With it selected, I'm going to say extract all, and I'm just going to let it extract in my downloads folder. And I have the button here uh, selected, show the downloaded files when finished. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here in the upper right hand corner, whoopsie, and make this a little bit smaller by skinning it like this. And I'm also going to open up in brilliance, skinny that up just a little bit. So here's in brilliance. Um, doesn't matter if I have anything opened here or not. I'm going to go ahead and open this file. And I'm going to grab all of these and just drag them over here. Notice what it says. It's been installed. I'll say OK. Now with some programs, you won't see it right away. You might need to close it and then reopen it. And that's the case with Silhouette. But with Imbrilliance, I think we'll see it right off the bat. So I'm going to highlight this one, come over here into my Properties panel, and see, oh, there it is, 2-inch non-split. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to add the knockdown stitch. So I have enthusiasts, so I'm able to do this. If I come up here to utility, and then, whoops, utility, and then come add knockdown stitching, it'll add it right away. I can leave these set as they are. I'll reset the defaults. We'll leave it as it is. And I'll say OK. There's the defaults, and that's what it's going to do on my towel. It's going to look perfect. So the next thing I want to do is this. I want to teach you guys how you can put, if you have the machine, a brother machine that reads the little snowman, there's a new feature in Brilliance, and I want to show you it today, and I'm going to use this. So what it is is this. You come up here to Edit Preferences. I'm going to go to Edit and then Preferences, in the preferences area you're going to come to printing and then notice what it has right here all of these things that you can select i am going to select print alignment snowman so you no longer have to find those little stickers to put on it's going to print it for me and i'll show you how that's going to work over on my larger machine over there so i'll say print alignment snowman and apply and okay so now if we go to File, Print Preview, look at that. He's already on there right away ready for me. So I'm going to go ahead and say Print, 
and OK. And it's printing. And then I'll meet you back here shortly. OK, these were my two different options. And I've decided on the bigger one. Notice again the snowman that's already printed out. So what I'm going to be using is this sticky stabilizer. So I'll put it in the hoop like this. I'll loosen this a little bit. I love using this stuff. It's the top of my hoop. Now I'm recessing the hoop down in there a bit. Okay, now you'll notice this is just paper. This is not sticky stuff yet. So now is what I'm going to go ahead and make like an X in the center of this. And then that's going to allow me to peel this off, which will reveal the sticky part of the stabilizer. really recessed in there. Then I'm going to bring over my towel and just put it on here willy-nilly. I don't need to be really, really careful because of the joy of using the um, snowman sticker. So here my towel's already on there. I don't really need to worry much. And I'm going to carefully take this over to my machine and I'll be right back. Okay, my design is in there and my towel is in there as well. So I'm going to go to sewing. And it says, please wait. And here's the little snowman. Now on my quattro, that's where it's located. You'll have to see where it's located on your brother machine. So I'm going to hit the little snowman. And I'm just going to have it scan. And say, okay. Perfect. It's already found it perfectly. Okay. Now it says to remove the embroidery positioning mark. So that means I need to move the paper out of the way, which I have pinned on here. And now it should be ready to go. Close. And I'm going to start with the white thread because that's what's going to do my knockdown stitch. In general, you like to choose the color for your knockdown stitch that matches your towel. So, let me thread this. I should have had it threaded for you. Okay, now it's ready to go. Put my presser foot down. Now go. Okay, if you'll notice here, the next thing that's going to stitch out is the initial, the letter R. It was going to be in blue, but I decided to do it in a tan color. I hope I'm not making a mistake because this is really a light color. So we'll find out though. So I'll put down the presser foot and then hit go. Okay, I think that turned out really nicely. The next thing it says to do is to use a leaf green, and I'm going to use a really pretty, what I think is a sage green. So I'll go ahead and thread my machine and put the presser foot down and go. Okay, the next color is supposed to be the white of the daisies, but I'm thinking maybe that may not show up well enough. So I decided to use a pretty pale yellow and I'll use a, hmm, maybe I'll put the white on the inside of the flowers. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna put my presser foot down again and hit go. 
this stitch for the both flowers will only take one minute. Okay, for step number five, it's not the inside of the daisies. It's, it is two other flowers, and I'm going to make them a kind of a rusty, peachy, whatever color. <laughs> and maybe you can see it. Can you see it? There you go. Press the foot down and go. Remember how I was debating on whether to use this larger one or the smaller one? And I like the larger one better. The one that I saved on my thumb drive is actually the smaller one. And I'll show you that in just a second. We can compare. A little bit. Ooh. There you go. I think it turned out really pretty. I love the colors I chose. I think my sister would like them. But I think that I would like it better if it was the larger one as I had hoped. But anyway, you can see how nicely that turned out. You can see the knockdown stitching. So now I would take this off the hoop carefully. I could just pull it off like this. There we go. And I usually do just like to try to get the center part out because you can reuse this. Just patch it and I can show you over there at my table. Okay, usually if I have some scrap pieces, I, well, first of all, I always keep the label inside here so I know what it is and how to take care of it. And then if I have scrap pieces, I keep them in here as well. So what I can do now is, I can put this piece, I just tear, tore the stuff off on the back of this. And once I have it kind of adhered, turn it upside down and just tack it into place. That was a scrap. And now I have a whole new sticky embroidery hoop to work with. And I didn't have to waste a whole lot. So I may do another one of these. A friend of mine is moving to a new home and her name is Jean. Her last name starts with a W. So I might just do a W now as well. But boy, oh boy, I think this is beautiful. I love how it turned out. Look at it, you guys. Isn't that pretty? I think it's so pretty. Love, love, love. So anyway, so there's a few tips for you. How to patch your stabilizer when you're done using it. How to use the snowman tool. Remember I said it was too small? But anyway, how to use the snowman tool here. And I actually think the snowman being drawn on here might be helpful for us in our PE 770s, 800s, my 1700 E and Y. Well, I think that I won't have a beam to be able to go around and trace it and see where it is, but I can easily find more easily exactly where my needle should be in the set center when I'm getting ready to start. Okay, just to show the process one more time, if I were making this for my friend whose last name starts with a W, I would first fold the towel in half at this side where I'm going to put this, kind of make a crease mark. And I can see that crease mark right there, right there. Then I would bring my W over here and line that up with that crease mark like that and put it down as low as I would like it to be that and then I would use the pins that I used before just pin it into place for now temporarily okay and get the other pin okay perfect now I do want to make sure that it's on here straight I get a ruler. Kind of be able to tell if it's where I want it to be. Let's 
so I'll go from the sticker out to the edge and that's about at the eight inch mark. So it should be the same on this side. A sticker, snowman sticker out to the edge, eight inch perfectly. And this looks to be aligned well also. So it's about to there. And let's see, that goes to that little mark. And that goes to, there you go. Okay, perfect like that. And then remember, all I have to do is bring over my newly ready piece of sticky stuff. <laughs> I'll have a link for you down below, what I use. And stick this on here willy-nilly. It doesn't have to be on here perfect because of the snowman sticker. That's the joy of him. So just kind of stick this in here and then take it over to my machine and my machine light will go around until it sees the snowman sticker and then it'll be right where it's supposed to be. Now, if I was using this in my 770, I could do the same thing, put him in there. I will want to make sure that, you know, it's lined up straight and then I can know exactly where the middle piece would be and I can check that, right, easily with the 770. 800, 1700E, etc. These are also very useful on your multi-needle machines. And I know you get some with your brother machine, but if you run out, or if you don't want to putz with the stickers, you can print it right on your printout. Okay. And one more time quickly, just to do the W, I would come up here to the text tool. Oops type in the letter W and I've already gotten that font open. As you can see here, it's the designs by Juju floral monogram. And I'm using the three inch one. And I went ahead and said utility because I have enthusiast utility, add knockdown stitching. And again, I left it to the defaults and said, okay. And there it is just like that. Now I can just go to file save stitch file as and at this point now I would look for my thumb drive which is no longer in here because it's in my machine over there so that's what you have to do and then save it take it over there and continue on so I hope you like this tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let your friends know about it also please please check out my links down below if you're in the market to purchase something I sure appreciate it when you when you use them because it just motivates me to keep going. So thanks again. Bye for now, everyone.